Welcome back. I call this deck Gaia Clown Attack Force. We can compartmentalize the name into three components. The Earth theme, represented by the field spell Gaia Power, a Labyrinth of Nightmare Clown Control Engine, and Goblin Attack Force that synergizes well with Labyrinth of Nightmare. Basically, all of this deck's speed sticks are Earth attribute monsters. Gaia Power boosts the attack value by 500 points, while lowering the defense value by 400 points. I maxed out on it. The key centerpiece in this deck is the permanent, the permanent trap card Labyrinth of Nightmare. Its effect switches all phase of monster cards of the turn player that are in attack position into defense position and vice versa during each end phases of the turn player. Without this card, this deck build is more or less senseless as we rely heavily on its effect. Therefore, I opted to include two copies of Fake Trap to mainly protect Labyrinth of Nightmare from hostile mystical space typhoons, heavy storms or breakers and we can recycle it with Mask of Darkness. The clown engine in this build consists of triple dream clown, um, triple blade rabbit, and three copies of giant red to either float uh, on battle destruction into dream clown or into plate rabbit. Both Clown and Rabbits share the same effect. Whenever they switch from face-up attack into face-up defense position, we can destroy one opposing monster. With our MVP Labyrinth of Nightmare, we simply summon either one of them in attack mode and wait until Labyrinth of Nightmare automatically puts them into face-up defense position during our end phase. During the main phase of the following turn, we can switch them back into attack mode, attack with them if we so desire, and wait until the end phase to once again trigger the destruction effects. Plate Rabbit does not qualify as a beat stick, even, even with an attack boost by the field spell. But Dream Clown does become a beater with Gaia Power on the field, displaying respectable 1700 attack points. Yet, up until now, this deck looks like a classic control variant featuring Earth Monsters. Three, couple, three copies of Goblin, Goblin Attack Force best exemplify the beatdown component. Normally, they switch into defense modes after they attack and stay there for over a turn. However, with Labyrinth of Nightmare, they switch back into attack position during our end phase. They do not need tributes and with Gaia Power in effect, turn into 2800 attack strong powerhouses to overwhelm the opponent. Another nugget in the stack has to be Reinforcement of the Army. That can search out directly from the deck either a control themed Dream Clown or a beatdown themed Goblin Attack Force. Cyberjar and Morphing Jar speed up the tempo of the stack and let us stick 5 cards deeper and search for Labyrinth of Nightmare, in case we did not draw into it beforehand. Sodom Judgment uh, serves as universal protection, especially for our Labyrinth of Nightmare. With Swords of Really Lights, we can stall for three turns, within which we may switch the positions of our clowns, rabbits, or goblins manually turn after turn. Nobleman of Crossout is included, and so is Mystical Space Typhoon, Snatch Steel, and the Trinity. Pot of Greed. Crash for Charity and Delinquent Duo. One Dust Tornado as a replacement for Heavy Storm. And one Mirror Force, one Ring of Destruction, and one Card of the Haunted round off the stack. That's it for the stack profile. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and until next time, your Ritual Expert. Signing out.